Hey guys, it's Summer and I have finally listened to you guys. I am doing my enamel pin collection video. So if you don't know, I have a TikTok account where I post a lot of my BTS merch, including my pins, and I get asked all the time where I get them. So hopefully this video will answer all of the questions. I'm going to start with the pin sellers I have the least amount of pins from and work my way up to the pin seller I have the most pins from. And yeah, that's basically the entire point of this video. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do that. And if you don't follow me on TikTok, you should definitely do that because I post a lot of BTS merch. And in that same breath, yes, these are all BTS pins. I'm probably going to butcher some names. It's kind of my thing. I never say Jungkook's name in the same way twice for a reason. And we're just going to get into it. Let's go. So the very first pin I'm going to share with you guys is from Sweet Salad Pins. This is a collar pin, so the idea is to put one pin on one collar and one pin on the other. It is of the BTS ARMY symbol and BTS itself, and it has kind of this joining in the middle to connect BTS and ARMY, and I just think it's fantastic. The color is kind of shifts between purple and green and the back does say sweet salad pins so this is my very first pin i'm going to share with you guys i know a lot of people really love this pin it is fantastic speaking of butchering names i'm definitely going to butcher this one i believe it's from a pin seller called nikubi i probably am saying this completely wrong but it is my most expensive pin so this is jungkook's wings pin she has an entire wings collection which is fantastic i love it the wing is stained glass, the bag says fly with me, it's got these dangles and this beautiful sapphire charm at the end, and it is overall one of the most beautiful pins in my collection. I adore this pin seller's work, highly recommend. For a person who enjoys memories about concerts, I recommend The Dancing Tiger. They have done a bunch of pins for a bunch of different concerts, including Blackpink and BTS. This one is the Hamilton pin for the Hamilton Love Yourself Tour stop, and the cool thing about this series is if you go to different stops, the image on the inside will be different. So of course I went to Hamilton, and this is the one I got. It also has that kind of color shift vibe, like the very first pin I showed you, and it's a very great memory with the awesome back stamp of the Dancing Tiger on the back. This is a pin from DB Pins, and obviously it's an OTP pin, but don't you worry, they did not just do Cookman. They have an entire series of these, so whether you like Namjin or V Cook, you will find one that you enjoy. Obviously, this is from the picture they took in Japan, and it's just a little cute heart. Love this pin. Very simple, very meaningful. Also love the pastel colors against the black outfits. You caught my ship. Now, if you didn't go to the Hamilton Love Yourself Tour, this pin probably doesn't mean anything to you, but it means a lot to me. The very last day of the Sunday show, BTS made the backdrop all red for Canada and said it was like a gift to Canada, and that's why I have this particular pin, because it was something specifically for that stop. And this is by Jungleland. I believe this is the only pin they have currently, but if you went to that show, definitely recommend this pin, because it is specific for our stop. It's specific for BTS's love to Canada, and what more could you want, really? So if you are here for my TikTok, you will not be surprised from the amount of JK pins I have. I am very a heavily biased person, and this pin does not hide that fact. This is by Pink Mochi Fluff, and it is this beautiful blood, sweat, and tears pin of Jungkook uh, when he's hanging upside down. The thing I love about this pin, beyond the size of it, because it's huge, is the brilliant royal blue and the fantastic deep red. Gorgeous, gorgeous pin. This next pin is by Moon Candies and it is Jimin's Serendipity. This is so simplistic, but among every other pin I have, it stands out the most because of how brilliant that white color is and that one yellow star. The glitter does not have a casing on it. It's exposed and it's gorgeous and bright and brilliant. And it is definitely one of the most simple, but the most statement pieces of the pins I own. Moon Candies also created this Euphoria pin. I believe they are eventually going to do all of the members solos. But this is the Euphoria one, which also has that brilliant white background that really stands out. It's the only one I've worn in public. It's got tons of compliments on it. And it's just, it's an amazing pin. It's so simple, but breathtakingly beautiful. 
This is one of my favorite series of pins. I'm so sad I only have two of them and it's by LW Pins. So this is the RM2U pin. It's simple, it's huge, and as soon as you see it, you're like, that's do you. That is RM in his solo, in his place. The colors are simple, very monochrome, but fantastic and beautiful. And I love this pin series that she did. I also have her Euphoria pin. I really wish I had got the other ones because they're just a beautiful set. But I do have this one. It's this gorgeous pastel blue. The bubbles, I believe, have glitter in them. And then you have Jungkook in just a yellow silhouette. So beautiful set of pins, very big pins as well. I think one of the biggest BTS pin sellers right now is definitely IO pins. And these two pins kind of proves the point as to why they are big, they are bold, and they are beautiful pins. So the first one I have is of course OT7, but actually both of them are. And this is just from the Love Yourself series it's a beautiful pin. I can't really say much about it because it's so simplistic, but at the same time, it's such a statement piece and so large and so beautiful. The next pin I have from her, on the other hand, I can say a lot about. This is the 3J pin. It's from the MMAs, I believe, when they did the dance for idols. So you have J-Hope at the top, you have Jimin in the middle with all of the fans, and Jungkook along the bottom. The more I look at this pin, the more details I notice in it. It's just absolutely gorgeous, and it's very big. Uh, but you know what? It needs to be big to have that much detail. Fantastic, gorgeous pin, and the back does say IO pins. These pins are by Tiny Bond, Tiny Bond Tay. I'm really not improving with the names here. Pins. They are the Ab Flash trilogy. So they're each from a different performance of Fake Love and they are all Jungkook. Each one has a different lyric on it. So Love You So Mad, I Love You So Bad, It's All Fake Love. That was not the right order, but that's the order I'm going with. They also have a Jimin Ab series. If you are more of a Jimin stan, they are beautiful. I love them a lot. These next few pins are from Yin Mi Pins, and this is a spring day one. It says the rap line, and it says until spring comes again, which is my favorite BTS lyric of all time, to a point I almost got it tattooed to my body. I love it. The thing I love about her pins is she very much focuses on pastels a lot, and this pin is no exception to that. The other one I got out of her Spring Day series is, of course, of Jungkook. It says, until the flowers bloom again, and it's him in front of the carousel. I have another pin of this same scene. I think it's beautiful. He also looks fantastic in this part of the song, so, of course, I have it. But I like how dark this one is. It's very much different than the other pins I have. And the last pin I have from her is another... Cookman pin or G Cook, whatever you want to call it. It is from, I believe, one of the musters back in the day, but she made it pastel and it's gorgeous. It's also very big, but I love the coloring of this. And Jimin with glasses and any aspect of life is amazing, so we had to get this pin. So the next thing I have from this seller, and the last thing I have from this seller. It's a necklace. It's from Love Yourself Answer. So it does open on the inside, but I believe she's remaking them so they have a metal clasp because these ones do tend to open. I don't really mind though. This was her very first run of them. The inside says, you've shown me I have reasons I should love myself. It's very hard to say without singing. And then on the other one has the flower from Love Yourself Her. The back is stamped with the seller's stamp. You know, and it's just, it's very beautiful. It's a statement piece. You can wear it as a BTS fan. You can wear it not being a BTS fan. It's just that simple and beautiful. Moving on to another Spring Day series. This is by Peanut Paper Co. And it's the other pin I have of Jungkook with the carousel. It says you never walk alone on the front. Very different, even though they are the same scene, which I love about pin sellers. They are able to put their own spin on a lot of stuff. This also has chains on the side that move if the pin is moved, so it's a little bit interactive. 
Now this one, if I remember reading correctly, is the only one of that series she's no longer making, and it is a V one. I took a year for me to get this pin, but I needed a pin to represent V, and this was the one I desperately wanted. So it is, of course, right before he puts his head on some train tracks, if you remember Spring Day. But the colors are brilliant, very crisp, gorgeous. And then I ended up buying another V pin. So this is from the tier. I can't remember which album it is, but it is a tier pin. And the back is stained glass, which just stained glass on pins gets me every time. Also love the rose gold and the roses are beautifully done as well. So I picked this one up too. And the last pin I have from Peanut Paper Co. is the Young Forever pin. So this is the hot air balloon. I love hot air balloons in general. I have quite a few around my room and I always say it's for Young Forever even though it's not. But just beautiful scene, very memorable and gorgeous. This is the only pin from her I have that is bag stamped as well. So yeah. For a long time, OMG Bunny was the person I had the most pins from. Uh, that's no longer true, but I still love their work. And this one is the tear pin. I believe it was the duo. I only bought the one. So it has the silhouette from Fake Love with the hands and a little crystal in the top. And it's in the shape of a tear, which just adds so much to it. I love it so much. The back is stamped with the new OMG Bunny symbol as well. This one is... Another duo, it's the Serendipity Twins, but I only have the Night version. I believe she just released a Euphoria done in the same way with the colors and the background and the silhouette. It is of course of Jimin. I have so many Jimin pins, I find him very aesthetically pleasing. And this pin is no exception to that. So, gorgeous pin. Love the glitter as well. Are you noticing a theme? I really like Spring Day. It's my favorite song. The color of this pin I loved so much the glitter and the cherry blossoms, but that blue in the background just sold me. It's very simple. You know it's spring day. It's beautiful. What more can I say, honestly? Although I like a lot of BT21, I hate their official pins. So I got an unofficial pin because it's beautifully done and way better than the official ones. This is the last pin I have from SoMG Bunny. It is a BT21. I love the fact that RJ has his little fork and knife and then the back has the old ZOMG Bunny stamp. So just a nice conclusion to my ZOMG Bunny pins. But I do have this amazing key ring from them. It is a foreign singer. It is beautiful. I don't know if they still make them, but I hope they do. It has a little chain with their debut date on it. The back is purple and sparkly and born singer and it says together and emotionally I needed this pin. I or keychain, yes, it's a keychain summer. So it actually hangs up in my room at all times. It's gorgeous. I love it so so much. And it does have the BTS symbol at the bottom. The next bunch of pins I have are from the Daydream Rabbit. And this was the very first pin she ever made. I pre-ordered it. I wanted to support an independent artist, which is why I have all of these pins. This one is Veeman Dang. And I keep calling it Veeman Dancing, which is not what it's called. But the colors on this, fantastic. I love it. It's also not something that you can easily capture, is like movements like that. And she managed to do it. So love this pin. I also have another Jimin pin, like I said, I love his aesthetic, and it is of the solos, so you have him with the apple for lie, and then him with the balloon for serendipity. So I love this, the color in the background is so unique to any of the other pins I have, and the feathers just add an extra touch. This is also a back stamped with her logo. This pin is called Special Thanks, and it looks like the BTS logo, except one side has baby BTS um, shaped to like out the word ARMY, and the other side has older BTS bowing to all of us. The background is purple because they purple us. I love this pin. There's so much meaning. I could go on and on about it, but I'm just gonna leave it with the basics. 
Here's a reminder that summer is not Korean. I believe these are called the Kwong cards. Probably butchering that one too. Um, the first one I have is Yoongi, then I have RM, and lastly J-Hope. It is a series. RM is slightly bigger, which is why I put him in the middle, but that's okay. I think it kind of adds to it, honestly. You have two images of the boys in each one. Brilliant red once again. Love it a lot. Love the hair. Love how she captured the movement. Fantastic. 10 out of 10. And now we move on to the seller I have the most amount of pins from. These are from Happy Pop. The first one is simple. It's J-Hope. It's airport fashion. This was actually a freebie because I bought a lot of stuff, but I will always accept free merch, especially of J-Hope. I don't have enough of him. It's a beautiful, simple pin to start. And now moving on to something a lot less simple. This is the airplane window pin. So it opens like an airplane window screen. The front is of Hope World. The inside is of airplane. It is of course J-Hope themed. I love pins that move. This is, it's brilliant. Like I could go on, the colors, the glitter, the silhouette, everything about this pin is fantastic. I love this pin so much, so, so much. This pin is Constellations. The thing I love about Happy Pop is she always adds something extra to her pins and this one glows in the dark. So it is very black and white. I love the rainbow glitter in the sky and if you turned out your lights, it would glow green. What more could you want from a pin? This was my very first pin. It is a love yourself pin. It is from when they are in front of the flowers and it has all of the members. You can rotate it whatever way you like. It's very simple, just headshots, but you can tell who is who. There's glitter in the roses. Everything is kind of mirrored in a way. I just, it's so pretty. I love this pin. I love the coloring as well. This was one of my favorite pins for a really long time. This is the FaceTime pin. So it's Run Era BTS. And in the corner is a little mirror, so it looks like they're FaceTiming you. There's also a whole lot of detail in the percentage being OT7. The army symbol being your signal. There's so much going on with this pin. It's beautiful. I love it. This is a Yoongi pin. So I tried to have one pin of every member. I'm still missing a Jin pin. So if you know a really good Jin pin, hit me up. This is one of my ones for Yoongi. And gorgeous pin. I'm very glad that they went with black and white. I feel like that really represents him as a person. So very unique. Nothing else this kind of style for him out there. This, though, is probably the pin I get asked about the absolute most. This is a Jimin pin. Yes, it is from Happy Pop. The background does glow in the dark, the moon there. Beautiful red roses. It's from the Blood, Sweat, and Tear era. It's got these dangling stars. Obviously, I understand why some people love this pin. It is absolutely gorgeous. Very unique as well. Good job, Happy Bob. This is one of my newest pins. It is made to look like a laptop that opens and closes. It has BTS as the Grammys in the very top. The bottom has like stickers of RJ and Koya and a little army bomb there as well. This is one of the lower quality pins because you can get different qualities. So there are a few specs here and there. But overall, it's still really gorgeous. The front has the butterfly, like never mind, and it says army in it. So much attention to the small details in this pin. We love Blood, Sweat, and Tears era here, and this is a pin I saw and was like, I want to collect pins, but it also took me like a year to get this pin because it always sells out. It's the wings Polaroid. The chandeliers do move as well and it's just the opening scene of Blood, Sweat, and Tears. It's very unique actually. I haven't really seen any other pin like this style so thank you for getting me into pin collecting. Now I personally didn't go to City Field but this is a City Field pin. I just got it because it was one. Look at the amount of details in this thing but also it represents something very important 
for our fandom. It's got a moon, it's got fireworks, it has the boys on the extended stage. Look at all those army bombs in purple. Beautiful bag stamping as well with the date on it. I know there's a bigger story to it, but for me, as someone who didn't go, I just really like the pin. What can I say? I really like Jungkook. This is from when they were in Malta and him and Jimin got henna tattoos, except this one has been done as a purple heart and the artist doing the caricature is Cookie, the character from BT21. I love this pin so much. It's so wholesome and cute. Like I said, attention to details from this pin seller is phenomenal. It's very, very adorable. I love this pin. It's so cute. And the last pin is my newest pin. Run era BTS needs to come back. Not only that, Mint Yoongi, orange haired Jimin, iconic outfits. What more could you really need from a pin? This thing is also the biggest pin I have. It is huge, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I love Happy Pops pins. Everyone's got a favorite person, a favorite singer. I have a favorite pin seller, and it's Happy Pop. And there you have it. Every single pin I own. I think there's like 40 of them. Somebody count for me, please. If you're not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. And I will see you guys all in the next video.